viewers, my name is Miriam Mawela. Welcome again to Hold Me Initiative. I told you Hold Me Initiative, we are doing great. And our main mission, our main focus is on people living with disabilities, parents with kids living with disabilities, orphans and widows, and also single mothers when you are with a disability. We are going to talk on other platforms and you saw what we do. Uh, last time we had this uh, issue, um, this case here, Moses, Mtoto Moses Baraka, ambapo nilienda nikapata mama ya Moses, and uh, when I was called to go and address that issue, Mama Moses is a no fan, total orphan, and by she is a single mother with a kid living with disability, and by Nini Moses Baraka, I had to go Baraka to go and to rescue that mother, ni kamfanyia counseling, and we talked a lot, and uh, you supported me. You people, you are wonderful people. We can support so much. You came on board to can with your Moses Baraka uh, wheelchair. At least you helped me a lot because now we are able to buy uh, Mama Moses Chakula. You've donated a lot of stuffs. What we are remaining with na Mamboya Moses ni kwamba we need him and the assessment so that and the uh, surgery ya migu. He's supposed to go for a surgery in Kijabi. So that's the point we are at. So we are looking for funds, but after Tumenda Tutapewa Medical Appeal. Thank you so much. Today, I have another guest here. And uh, my guest is called Meshak Sausau. He's such an intelligent man. When I met Meshak, I love the way he's intelligent. I loved the way he views at life. And I love the way he, he has dreams. And Alinis idea sana could you okay for me yes I have a disability and I've learned to live with it and here Meshak I mean say idea could you come it's good to live within your dream. So I would like Meshak to take us through his life at Wambia Nani, Ametoka Wapi, Amelelewa Wapi, Ali Jipata de Kitengela because for now we are Kitengela. Uh hold me initiative by the way in a konga kitengela. And um so uh, to take his journey na angependa aje as hold me initiative to hold his hand so that dreams it were true. So Meshak, welcome Thank so you. much to this platform, your hold me initiative. Thank you. Uh, kindly introduce yourself, take us through your life, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Meshak Sausau, as you have heard. I'm from Busia County in Tesla North District. The village called Kakoli. Uh, the known place there is Kakoli Primary School in the western province of Kenya. I'm from a polygamous family, and uh, my father has two, uh, has three wives. I can say that in my family, I'm the second born in my family. Uh, there is a lot to do with the polygamous problems or challenges but uh, about my education it was it was just through a struggle from primary level I studied in a public school at Kakoli primary school after there my class 8 I remember I was the second best in class by then therefore because my father was not so much supportive my uncle from my mother's side, he picked me and he took me to Uganda to join high school, where I studied my high school from Form 1 to Form 4, called the Ordinary Level in Uganda. After that, I performed very well. I didn't have money, and my mission was to reach to advanced level, just like any other child from, from well-off family. Well, Meshak, you said that uh, when you were schooling, that it was so hard for you, and you didn't have money. Now, can you tell us how you made it through? Ama, um, how did you used to pay your how you used to pay your school fees? Uh, thank you very much. After I got to Form One, one week uh, it was one month before they closed the term of uh, first, before they closed the first term. Yeah. I joined, but uh, fortunately. Uh, from my primary level to form one, I became position three. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, I only studied for one month, position three in form one. Mm -hmm. Second term, 
the head teacher introduced a policy. The best performing students in any class from portion 1 to portion 3, there is a percentage and offer you are given for school fee. So my uncle paid around the 30,000 of Uganda for second term. Second term, I, I worked hard, I became portion 1. When I became portion 1, third term, I didn't pay any money. So I had to work hard on books in order to perform well in class for this sponsorship to continue. Oh, yes, and that was how I managed to form four, oh, okay. miraculously. Oh, okay. yes, it was just competition through, your hard work. through my hard work in wow, class. Wow. From, uh, from form two to form four, I mm -hmm. didn't pay even a single coin. Mm -hmm. Though it was a day school, but I appreciate that uh, I went to high school. Uh, by then, did you have the disability? Okay. My disability, it came when I was in form, form four. Okay. Second term. Mm -hmm. So, it was through road accident. I remember it was on July the 16th, mm -hmm. in the evening. Uh, we, our, our vehicle collided with another vehicle on the way. I realized that uh, an accident occurred the following day when I was in the theater. Oh, after uh, when I was in the in the admission room, mm -hmm. after being moved from the theater, I only found my left leg. It was up with some heavy metals, wood like like stones. So my mother was there next to me. This hand was on a, on a, a very big plaster, and even if you look at it, it's not straight. It had a dislocation. Where was the dis dislocation? At this uh, elbow joint. Okay. Yeah. It's not straight, mm -hmm. so it is still there. So my left leg, I had the, the, the dislocation at the hip joint. Okay. So I was just told by the mother that uh, the hip joint got inside to the socket, mm -hmm. and therefore they had to pull it out. Yeah. So that's why I'm limping till to date, and still I do. Sometimes I do feel some pain. Oh, there is still some pain. Yeah, some pain. Feel. I do feel some pain. When I walk for a long distance, okay. or I overstand. It affects me so much. Okay. Yeah. Were you told that there is anything that can be done with that? Uh, after I was discharged from the hospital, I was brought back. To, I was brought back home. Yes. And my mother, she was not able to afford for further medication, mm -hmm. so she just used to do traditional one, just stretching, the way they do uh, there in the in the village. Okay. Yeah, just traditional at home. Okay. So from there, uh, I went back. I stayed at home for the month of. Uh, the the, the last month of uh, the last weeks of July, mm -hmm. I spent the whole of August at home. Mm -hmm. September, I went back to school preparing for my Form 4 exams. We, we started for exams in November. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the following year, when the results were out, mm -hmm. I, I had a Division 2. Wow. Yeah, you know, Division wow. 1 is the best than Division 2. Yes, yes. yes. So from there, I, I took time to recover. I was on crutches with the pain, but still, God helped me. I managed, I performed well mm -hmm. to go to Division 2. Mm -hmm. I asked him, some people to support me for Form 6. Yes. It was not easy. So my mother had to sell some maize. And uh, I told my mother, I'm not, uh, I'm not branching. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to any technical institution for now. Yes. I need to continue advancing my studies. I also need to reach somewhere where others have reached. It's just a dream. In me, something was just pushing me. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind whether money was not there, whether it was there, but my, the dream in me. Because I saw those people were learned, they live a very good life. That's why I also say that I must reach to from six then from there to, to university. How old are you? Okay, I'm born in the year 1985. Uh -huh. Yes. The accident happened in the year 2004. Oh. Yes. So, so you know, uh, my viewers would start asking me yes. that how old is this man? Yes. Uh, so, so I know we can continue from there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I went to Form 6. My mother might take me to Form 6 again. I joined Form 6. Yes. Almost when the first term of Form 5 was almost over in April. Mm -hmm. But uh, I managed. I joined. Um, I managed to work hard. Mm -hmm. uh, when I studied for two years, from five and from six, from six when the results were out, mm -hmm. I remember from six in November, one week to my exams, final exams again. What happened is that I lost my brother, the one who follows me from behind. Sorry for 
I lost my brother. Mm -hmm. So after his burial, mm -hmm. I went back and uh, I sat for the exams. Fortunately, when the results were out the following year, I I had the I had the three principals, three principal passes with one subsidiary. That one means I qualified for university. So wow. I, was, I was among the best. Wow, wow. so you're so hard working. Yes. Mm -hmm. After there, I said I've achieved what I wanted from six, I've achieved. Mm -hmm. So my teacher for high school, he called me back for, for ordinary level. Mm -hmm. He called me back, come and assist me with some work here yes. in, at school. I went and I worked for some for one year mm -hmm. as I was trying to look for money mm -hmm. to join university. So I worked for one year. After working for one year, I said I've gotten some money, I can start a project. So I went for farming, farming maize with the brick making in order to raise money that would take me to the institute, to, to the college. I didn't manage to make enough money for university. I made the money, I said that now. I stayed at home for over seven years before I joined college. And that is back in... I completed in the year 2006. Uh -huh. And uh, I joined the college in the year 2012. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which college? I came... Okay, that was when now, from Uganda, I got back to Kenya mm -hmm. for farming and brick making. And after I got some money, I had to apply for, and it's, uh, for a college in Nairobi. I, saw, I just saw it on a newspaper. What I, was the name of the college? Beam International Training Center. Oh. I came to study. Mm -hmm. I stayed there for module one. Mm -hmm. After module one, I had to transfer to another institution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, called the Kips College. Why did you transfer? What was the reason? So the reason for my transfer was that uh, the human resource of Kips College was my lecturer at Beam. Oh. So he saw the matter with me. So you have to say that I come, I give you a job, you study in the other institution as you are working. Ah, so okay. as we deduct your, ma your salary for fee, you also study. Ah, okay. It will help you to advance. Okay. That was how I transferred from BIM to Kibbs College. Mm -hmm. So I worked there for two years for my module two and the module three in social work. Community development and social work, that's that my course. Diploma? Diploma. Okay. I went for a diploma mm -hmm. in, in community development and social work. Uh, after two years, so the very human resource manager was my lecturer at BIM. Uh, he proposed me to be to begin learning how to train other students. So he, he wrote a letter to the to the principal, and he considered my application. So I started training some students there. So after during that um, period of training. It happened that the first exams my students sat for Kenya National Examination Council, both certificate and diploma. Mm -hmm. uh, my students, three of them in diploma level got distinctions wow. as their mini grade, mm -hmm. and certificate two of them got, the other ones got credits. Mm -hmm. And I really saw that uh, I'm able to perform in class. Then from there, uh, now the, the principal, the director of BIM College, he saw my potential. So he had, to see, he had to talk to the other human resource manager, saying mm -hmm. that let him come back, mm -hmm. and at least we pay him some some money that is able to pay his rent and to, to advance his studies. So I went to him. I trained there also for one year, for one and a half years. Yes. That was when the Corona oh, Corona, corona came. struck in the year 2020, 2020 last year. The yeah. <laughs> so when Corona came, uh -huh. definitely colleges were closed. Yes, we lost yes. jobs. Okay. Most of the institutions were affected. Yes. So since then to date, yes. I'm jobless. Life has not been easy. It has not been easy. Especially now that you have a disability. I yes. know it has been a challenge. In the year 2019, mm -hmm. that was when I, I applied to the University of Nairobi for a degree. Oh, you wanted to partake a degree yes. in the University the of Nairobi? the University of Nairobi. Wow. I applied it. Mm -hmm. And I was successful. I was called for which course? Uh, I am to start now Bachelor of Arts in social in social work. Wow, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I applied. I got the papers. They called me. Unfortunately, again, I'm still just facing the the limitation of money finance in the year 2019. So I've been with those papers, everything in the house till this year, 2021 May. Yes. That was when our friend of mine working at the county, yes. he considered me 
for disability mainstream, he gave me a check of 50,000. So he gave me that check of 50,000. I, I took it to the University of Nairobi for processing. Yes. They processed it, and they said they said they told me that your application and your uh, your, your reference number is still valid. It expires wow. after two years. Oh, wow. So if I had to wait till September, it could have expired. But now since I went, they considered I'm still there in the system. Mm. So it's what is now I'm processing. Now, uh, the, you said you're doing the Bachelor of? Bachelor of Arts in Social in Work. Social Work. Yes. And uh, what is the school fees amount like for the whole course? I'm a per semester. Actually, as per the fee structure, which I will show you. Yes. As per the fee structure, mm -hmm. the whole course, mm -hmm. it, will, it shall cost 450000 The whole course? The whole course. It will take you how long? It is uh, a period of three years. Three years? Yes. Now to have uh, that degree? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now, Meshak, say you're a survivor. Okay, we're going to appear your jobless. Now tell us. Eh? On, back on survival, mm -hmm. it's just by the grace of God. Because I would like to know, because I know, you see, I'm a person living with disability myself. Yes. I've, I've worn that shoe. So I know, and I've seen so many of them struggling to survive, whereby they, it has been hard on them, and so hard to them yes. to speak out. Because people at our night, like we are seeking sympathy, or we are begging, and we don't want to be associated with begging because. Disability is, in a, is not inability. Exactly. It, it doesn't mean because you, you have that disability you can't work. So many people want to train. You train, eh? Yeah. Because I know we can do much. We can do a lot. But you see, every time we, we ask, Ama, we request for some support, someone to hold our hands. Um, people sit like we are begging, like we, we want to, we, we are seeking sympathy, of which that is not the case. Uh, so now, uh, how are you surviving? Because I know see your Sincerely speaking, eh? yes. I can just say that uh, it has not been easy, and still it's not easy. Yes, it's not easy. As you are speaking, mm -hmm. uh, my rent arrears they are for ten months. My ten rent, months. My rent for per month is seven thousand. Eh? Yes. I can say that I thank God that uh, my landlord is, a, is an old person, he understands, mm -hmm. but for now, mm -hmm. he's running out of patience. As you are talking, I'm under pressure. Mm -hmm. For the previous one week, I've been having sleepless nights on thinking on how to raise the money. Because I'm being called in now and then. So for seven, for 10 months, it's around 70,000. I just tell the caretaker, please talk to the landlord. Let him be patient. I won't run anywhere. I'm a Christian. I can't turn anywhere. But uh, Dom, Dom, I'm giving him some hopes. But for sure, I know that it's not easy since I'm jobless. You're Even with the, the with the food, yes. just with the friends. I meet with a friend like you. If you can get me a hundred shillings, I buy unga. So for now, that's how you survive. That's how I survive. It's not easy. Sorry for that, Meshak. I know I understand. You know I've been through that. And uh, so I, I, I really get what you're saying. How do your family take you? I'm a one of Kuliangaje. Now that I think you're the only person with a disability at your place. In your home. Yeah. Brother Zako, Wazazi. What do they say about you? And do they support you? Like, how do they take you? How do they take you? Sincerely speaking, yes. my mother, she's a peasant uh, farmer. Yes. She's just at home. She, she has not been at any given formal employment. Yes. And in fact, she's also depending on me. My brother, the same, is just at home. Mm -hmm. But since the outbreak of Corona, I just told them things are not easy for now. Things are not in. So, in short, I, I'm not getting any support way back from home because I know the situation at home. So, like when you're, you, you're training, your time, your pesa, you're supporting them. Yes. You're for your rent, your personal upkeep. 
plus now supporting, supporting my, my mother at oh, home. I get exactly. it. So it's, a, it's not easy. I get uh, you. It's I not get easy. You. I get you. Even and my mother, she has been sickly now and then. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's just God. I can just say it's God. Mm -hmm. Only. Mm -hmm. Sure. Survival is not easy. Mm -hmm. The day, each day I see, I see it by the grace of God. Now. Wow. Mm. Now, uh, I know my viewers, Meskia Story, Meshak, you know what we do at Hold Me Initiative. And uh, Meshak, Ebu now tell us, what are your immediate needs for now? Like, in you say, my news are easy. If Hold Me Initiative, people can hold my hand to I want you to talk to them. Tell them, Ungependa Aje. I understand Meshak has been depressed for some time. That's why I had to visit him and uh, talk to him. Because it's good to uh, so that uh, you understand uh, also what he's going through. As hold me initiative, at least to idea. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu mwenye haizi, patu anashida. And you see, he's a very hardworking man. Actually, hata kama kuna mtu anaiza kuwa na any job, I would really appreciate that uh, you call him on board. So, Meshak, for now, what is the immediate? For mm -hmm. now? Yeah, I'm a immediate support. Okay, I've got uh, the biggest issue to do with the rent. Yes. It's good for one to have peace, especially peace of the mind. Yes. Once you have the peace of the mind, you are able to do any other activity very well. Yes. You, can, you are able to perform well. What is really affecting me for now is rent. I know, I know rent, if settled, I know God will open another way. I just want to say in short that uh, I, for sure, rent is affecting me. Because I'm, I'm under stress and I'm under depression. It has been putting, uh, I've been under pressure. Uh, I can say that me, I'm a social worker. Yes, I, I am to get back to school in September. Come the next two months time, get yes. back to school. The reason why I went for social work, it was because after my high school also, I happened to volunteer with some community-based organizations dealing with the orphans, with the person with disabilities, especially persons with disabilities, way back home. I didn't know the reason why I was volunteering, working for persons with disabilities. Because I was a personal guide to the chairman in our area, in our community, mm -hmm. who are with a community-based organization. Mm -hmm. Yes, a person with a, who is visually impaired. Mm -hmm. So that was when now I, I got the interest of working with the community. My coming to the college, yeah, I, I, I came and I, I went for social work. I did the social work. So by doing social work, in me, I just want to work with the community. And even here in Kitengela, I've been volunteering with most of the community-based organizations. Mm -hmm. And my major role is about social activities. Identifying, though, that, though I know mm -hmm. that I have my personal pressing issues, but I feel that by helping somebody or by connecting this person to a source of help, in, a, in another way, God is able to bless me. Because I cannot just be seated, uh, seated in the house. I volunteer. And my prayer is that I pray to God if I'm to find a job today or any organization. I work with the people who see my potential. And I, I, I work with them to see an impact in the community or in the organization, and they also see that I'm improving. Because most of the time, I've been feeling a sense of exploitation. You give too much to the organization, you give too much to the, to the company, but, uh, or to the institution, but uh, what you are being given is not proportional to your input. I work with my heart, because I know that uh, once I serve you, I'm serving God. Yeah. Once I, uh, I help that person, I'm helping God. Okay. Yeah. But it's my prayer to find a person or to find an institution I work with. They also see my potential. They appreciate me, actually. Okay. And since for the product I've been working in the institution, 
I developed an interest that the business I'm yearning for, I'm interested for, is to have my own institution. In fact, I worked on a proposal in the year 2019, December. Mm -hmm. I wrote a proposal, you know, if you have to, if you want anything, mm -hmm. you have just put it down on writing. Right, yes. I worked on it on everything about the institution, since now I've got experience about the institution. I have those documents in the house, and still I've been praying for those documents. And I believe that God one day it will come true. Just the way universe now dream is coming true. I know I don't know where the financial comes from. I don't know. Because after being given this year for fifty thousand, yes. now the next balance for the for the remaining semesters. Don't I don't know the source. But God is there. Yeah. God knows the desires of your heart uh, and they know God will come through. Yes. As long as you have a desire and uh, as long as you pray, I believe that God will work it out. Yeah. So I'm, for I'm now, yes. my, I have there the need for rent, mm -hmm. the need for school fee, mm -hmm. and this institution. Because I know after starting this institution, it's not for my personal gain actually. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see that personal disabilities, they are helped through this institution. Because I know mm -hmm. people with disability, mm -hmm. They have got a special ability. Mm -hmm. If it is in a class, they are able to perform very well in a, in a class. If it is a handicraft work, mm -hmm. technical skills, yes. they are able to perform very well. Only that the community has not realized. For the time being, I volunteered way back at home with this community-based organization. And here in Kitangela, I tell you, I've come to learn that there is a lot of potential for person disabilities. So even though today I happen that I uh, this, uh, I study this institution, or oh God helps me anyway, I have to conserve person disabilities. They have a lot of potential. They and the potential, the community, the families are not aware. They are, they are seeing them as beggars. Come they are as beggars. Yes. yes, as a liability. Yes, sure, and that's why you find most of them, mm -hmm. they appear to be so desperate. They appear to be so that because they are being judged as beggars. And also they are not motivated. I, and I tell most of them I meet, even mm -hmm. though you have a big problem, yes. but try to be smart. Try to be, don't show to people that you have so much problems. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Yes, yes. Just try to be smart. That's a, a very good work, uh, yes. word of encouragement yeah. to them. Yes. Try to be smart mm -hmm. and from there leave the rest for God. Yeah, true. Exactly. True. So my major aim, mm -hmm. I just want to work with the community, but especially person disabilities. But for now, Mesha, rent, ukisha, rent ikikua, uh, ikikua sorted out, mm -hmm. and then school fees were sorted out. You know, when you, you are, when you are planning this, you know, priority, so that now at least, you know, ukisha soma, uda stress your rent. Now, as we work on the institution, that I think would, would be okay Definitely. with you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mesha. You, you know, mm -hmm. uh, if you help today, yes, you must also work out on seeing that on sustainability. Sure, sure. sure. So me, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, mm -hmm. I get to the university, and I or this institution, I study this institution, I get financial support. Definitely, it will sustain me the rest of my life, mm -hmm. and I'm able to give out the community to help others. Because so I know what God blesses me with is it, it blesses me the reason to bless others. Exactly. Uh, thank you for sharing your story. Watu wangu wa Holding Initiative Meskia, story ya Meshak. I'm so happy and I really appreciate you to share your story. Mwana ni dimwambi hakuna aja ya kuka hapo, hakuwe depressed, hakuwe na stress. Tuone venye tuneza hold this hand. At least, hata kama niyo rent areas, we can settle. And Meshak, I would like you to give us your number. Number Mesha, nitaweke hapo chini. Mesha, to give us, give them your number so that whoever would want to call you, would want to encourage you, would want to support you directly, at least aweze kuongea na wewe. Please, angalia watu wangu wapo ambie, tell them your number. Good. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I'm Mesha. My number is 0700 176 005. Zero seven zero zero one seven six zero zero five. Do you have any social handle? Any place? My email is sausa 
meshak at gmail.com sausa with s a u m e s h a c k at gmail.com is my email okay thank you so much meshak watu wangu wa hudmi initiative si mnajua pendil number nitawekea hapo chini uh, and also nitawekea our email uh, in case of any communication so that uh, if you want to support the organization because we have a lot of members uh, and i know i'll bring them on board as we address each case by each case kama sasa last time ilikuwa case ya Moses today ni Amesha the next time the next episode I'll come with another case so that we see how we can help these people because they have different different needs and people are suffering I've, I've tried my best at least with your help we are able to rescue some cases and uh, in each and every case I'll be doing a follow up uh, of how the person is doing like now we as uh, case ya Moses we are yet to go for an assessment so that we get a medical appeal ndio daktari atuambie anataka pesa ngapi for the surgery and what type of a surgery anafanywa we are yet to get those the funds kwa sababu Moses lazima tuchukue uh, unajua ni mkubwa so mama yake anambeba uh, all the way to Kijabi to and fro so and for now she's not in a position ya kuweza ku make it financial status yake it's not okay so um, i'm appealing to you that we help these people stand on their feet that's what we do at all initiative just simply holding your hand i know for me i can't hold your hand because i don't have one but i can hold it with my heart i can give you a warm hug with my heart so thank you so much viewers and uh, thank you so much for allowing me to bring you this episode and Thank you so much again for even supporting us. I, I I humbly appreciate. I really appreciate for your support. Asante sana. Till next time. Bye bye. This is my calling letter from the University of Nairobi. For the mission as you can read it, this is my photo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Application. Simnaona it's mm. a University of Nairobi in the barua yake ya application form mm -hmm. for admission to undergraduate studies uh -huh. self sponsor sponsored student eh? uh -huh. yes so this one there for in ya kutoka kwa university uh, university of nairobi itself uh -huh. during the application now uh, why uh, is it self sponsored why is it we have got uh, government sponsored students and self sponsored students oh, ah, yes oh, uh, uh, self sponsored according to module 2 program Oh, yes, oh, module okay. two. It's good for my viewers yeah. to understand that. Uh, eh? And now this is the letter. Uh -huh. Yeah, University of Nairobi. This is my calling letter. The reference number is there. My name is there. This is the letter. Wow. Mm. Sawa, sawa. Okay. For now, what uh, I'm processing to look for some funds from national council of persons with disabilities if they can support me with some money yes. and amount that they can give me so this is the form i'm trying to process mm -hmm. to get funding from national council mm -hmm. it is good always to try mm -hmm. yeah that done failing to try very true you are yeah. right so ready mm -hmm. you have got the stamp from the university of nairobi mm -hmm. this is the stamp from the university of nairobi and now as you are talking mm -hmm. i'm heading to kajado mm -hmm. to get the stamp the signing from the county disability services officer okay. representing national council of person disabilities is where i'm heading now okay yeah and you know that uh, all these went to request finance yes fair uh, fair mm -hmm. and everything so mm -hmm. it's just god to guide me meets me with a Samaritan fine, I appreciate. Okay. Yeah, that is it. Okay. 